Hello guys, in the last videos we've seen how we used the blocks and nested blocks and this video we will be using the CMS block. So CMS block will work just as normal as uh, any, any block but with some differences. So first of all let's head to the Magento admin and then create a CMS block uh, to display on the uh, front page. So Magento site admin and now we create a CMS block, we go to content and then element and then blocks, we create a new, then we give a block title, just say we need block example, we will use it on all stores here and then we need the content, let's say in here, strong and now we save. So we will head to the layout file and in the body here in the content we use block give it a name uh, CMS block example and class magento CMS block block so this is it and then we need arguments in the arguments we need block id will be string of type string so string and then the block id is this one the identifier so we just copy it and place it in here i think this is how we try to place the block but how are we going to display it since we don't have access to it there is no way to display it so we just move it place it here in the content html we have seen these we only use the method like this the child html because it's a child of it this is why we placed it inside the layout example and then we display this child html child html by name this name so we just clear cache cache flush layout block html and then refresh and here you go so there is some styling issue with this. We don't need pre, p, yeah, save, and then push again. And here you go, you can see there is a CMS block. If we can do this one, we make it as red four, then we have a space, as you see. So this is the way of displaying CMS blocks. First of all, you come here and then define block as a CMS. If there is one, then you can use it as a existing block. If, don't, if not, you just need to create a new one. And once you created a new one, you just add the ID here. And because you placed it inside another block, this another block has the responsibility to display this content the content inside the CMS block. And the way it works is like this example, block, get HTML, child HTML, and then you put the name. Do not confuse this name with this block ID. This is a name you give it a random name. It's whatever name you wanted to give it and then you use the identifier as a block ID from the CMS block itself. So this is up to you to name it, and this is whatever you grab from the content, the CMS, the CMS block. Uh, I think this is it, and I'll see you next video.